In 2012, Elon Musk first introduced the concept of Hyperloop, a sealed vacuum-like tube where a pod would travel nearly free of air resistance at a top speed of 1,200 kilometers per hour. Hyperloop is an open source concept, so other companies have attempted to further develop the experimental technology. Now, China has jumped into the race towards super high-speed travel with plans to create T-Flight, a supersonic train that can travel up to 4,000 kilometers per hour. To put that into perspective, the speed of sound is 1,225 kilometers while a commercial jet travels at a sloth-like pace of 885 kilometers per hour. So why the huge difference? Well, Hyperloop's tube is partially evacuated, whereas T-Flight is completely evacuated, meaning no air. But with greater speed comes a much bigger price tag. It's very expensive to com create a complete vacuum or something close enough to qualify for this purpose. So um, I would expect that the capital cost of such a system would be so large that it could never be recovered from the fares that might be charged operating it. But how large are we talking about? The best official estimate I could give you would be about a zillion dollars. The estimate for a passenger and cargo Hyperloop system from San Francisco to Los Angeles, on the other hand, is seven and a half billion dollars. Groups like Californians advocating responsible rail design want to make sure that resources are used to build a realistic, integrated transportation system. Projects like high-speed rail or a hyperloop, some kind of long-distance service is part of the answer, but it, it really is it starts to be an interesting solution when it's the backbone of a wider network, and that's partly what we figured out is missing in California. And one final thought to leave you with, and it's about whether the average person can actually withstand going 4,000 kilometers per hour. Professor James Moore put it to me this way. What if the train even turns slightly? Would passengers turn into wallpaper? Well, engineers in China say the system they're building will be safe, but no other details have been released, at least not yet. Mei Li, CGTN, Los Angeles.